Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy Carter J back in the house. I want to share with you guys my final thoughts going into this weekend's fight between Brandon Rios and Manny Pacquiao. You know, I talked about this fight uh, before in you know, a few videos and pretty much it's gonna be it's gonna be a big fight in a lot of different ways. You know, I feel like there's going to be a lot of unanswered questions going into this fight. And we're going to see the questions being answered come, you know, come Saturday. And we're going to see how, you know, Manny Pacquiao's chin, how good can it still hold up from a vicious shot if he's able to get, you know, hit really flush by Brandon Rios. You know, how Brandon Rios' power is going to go up from 140 to 147 and also how is Brandon Rios going to be able to handle the pressure of being on the big stage against a global icon in which people are not going to be rooting for him you know that's going to be you know a challenge on its own I feel for Brandon Rios um, is Robert Garcia going to allow Brandon Rios to keep coming forward if Brandon Rios is going to get punished is Robert Garcia is going to try to change the strategy in the heart in the heat of the battle um, can Manny Pacquiao still you know knock knock out somebody that's tailor made for him I mean if I'm not uh, off the top of my head, I think the last person Manny Pacquiao really, really knocked out was Ricky Hatton. And, you know, remember Ricky Hatton uh, came off that loss to Floyd Mayweather. He just didn't see, he didn't really see the same, seem the same to me. So it's been a while since really, really legitimately Manny Pacquiao has really knocked somebody out. So... That's what's, you know, somewhat intriguing to me about the fight more than anything is about these questions that's going to be answered, you know, when the fight comes. Um, as far as the fight happening, I feel what Brandon Rios is really going to have to do. He's really going to have to um, cut off the ring against Manny Pacquiao. He's going to have to keep cut, cutting him off. And he's eventually, he's going to have to wear Pacquiao down, as crazy as that sounds. He's going to have to wear him down, eventually just break him down. And then I think Rios, um, see, I'm just going to say this. My prediction for the fight, I feel that Pacquiao is going to win by unanimous decision. Alright. But, as the fight gets, you know, towards the mid to late rounds, um, to me, Rio seems a little, he seems a little soft for a body shot. Um, you know, recently, Pacquiao doesn't really go to the body that much, but I feel that he could actually catch Rio soft surprise with a really brutal, vicious body shot. And if that's the case, you know, then I'm not really sure how... Because we know, you know, Brandon Rios has a chin. But we haven't really seen him get hit by a really, really good, you know, body shot. I think Alvarado was hitting him with some body shots here and there, but it wasn't really nothing... Nothing spectacular enough to, you know, actually get him down on the ground. You know what I'm saying? So, another interesting thing I heard with, um, shout out to Seconds Out. He did an interview with Freddie Roach, and he 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 already asked him if uh, Pacquiao wins this fight. Um, you know, the boxing world is going to start it's going to start talking about you know start trying to hype up again this you know still still somewhat of a potential fight between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. And Freddie Roach brought up something that I had mentioned in a in a previous video not that long ago. He mentioned that who else can Floyd Mayweather fight that's going to generate the hugest numbers uh, besides Manny Pacquiao? There's actually 
there's really nobody else. Mayweather Canelo is the biggest fight in boxing that could be made outside of Mayweather Pacquiao. And it showed because that fight was the biggest, riching, I'm sorry, the biggest, richest um, prize fight in boxing history. I think Floyd Mayweather made over like 80 million, 40 million guaranteed from Showtime, and then 40 million off the revenue, the pay, you know, off the pay per views and all that other good stuff. Um, so it it does make a lot of sense still in my eyes that that fight you know, still needs to happen for their for the sake of their legacies. Um, guys should really pay attention to the post fight interview after this fight. We're going to really see how seriously Manny Pacquiao still wants to pursue the Floyd Mayweather fight and also in the post-fight uh, press conference. I'm definitely going to watch that because I really want to see you know, how, how bad Manny Pacquiao still wants this fight. At this point, it's the burden is really going to be on Pacquiao to make the fight. He's really going to have to call Floyd out. He's really going to have to step up and go against Bob Arum, man. Or either that, you know, tell Bob Arum how, you know, he wants to fight. So, um, I hope the fight can still happen in 2014. I'm really hoping for it, man, because, you know, we've been waiting long enough. Uh, I mean, at this point, there's really no, no more excuses can be made about a drug test, you know, blood testing, this and that. Manny Pacquiao has already stated that he's willing to do all blood testing requirements, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not really sure how the, the this time, if they fight, if they try to negotiate for it, I don't know what's necessarily going to happen with this so-called, you know, split of the purse. I don't know how that's going to factor out. The best advice I could give, if Mayweather is still going to offer Pacquiao $40 million, the best advice I could take, I could tell Pacquiao to take it because I don't know if he's ever going to get paid that much money in boxing ever again. So that's my take on it. Um, I'm going to be at the bar watching this fight. I don't want to live stream it. Um, I, I feel it's a very important fight. So. Also, another thing, Manny Pacquiao has been looking very good in training, man. He's been looking very sharp. He's been training since August. It's quite a long time because, you know, he had a long layoff, this and that. Um, I would not be ex upset at Brandon Rios if he loses this fight. The only thing I really ask for Brandon Rios is if he puts on a very, very good performance. I feel he needs a very good performance because um, we haven't really seen Brandon Rios and there are some serious elite top competition. I mean, he fought Alvarado and Richard Abril. I mean, outside of that, he hasn't really fought anybody. So this is Brandon Rios' toughest test. And like I said, even if he was to lose, I wouldn't be mad at the dude as long as he just puts on a very, very good performance. I hope. I, mean, I just really hope that he could back up the stuff that he's saying that, you know, he's not another margarito and this and that. I hope he could just back up all that stuff up in the ring. That's all I ask. And then, if Brandon Rios is to lose, he still has tons of options that he could go forward, you know, after this fight. I mean, he could still go after that uh, Mike Alvarado, uh, Brandon Rios trilogy, which could still possibly happen, and that's going to be a win-win situation for Bob Arum anyway. All right? He could still go after um, Ruslan Provotnikov. I don't know if it'll be for a title this quick, um, but that's another uh, possible option, being that they're um, both with top rank. Well, I mean, Ruslan's not with top rank, but his company works with top rank. Um, they're both in the same weight class, so I think that fight could easily be made. Um, he could possibly go after Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, Timothy Bradley probably. I mean, he he has so many options still. If he was to if he was to lose this fight, the do or die situation is obviously for Manny Pacquiao. Um, if he loses this fight, um, 
I believe it's time for him to hang up the gloves because if he can't at this point beat up a guy who's seriously ta tailor made for him, I don't know what else more I can say, man. I mean, he's had a very good career. Um, you, you know, he's obviously going to, you know, pursue being a congressman. That's cool. That's what he wants to do. But I really think Manny Pacquiao is going to win this fight. I think uh, I hope it could be by a knockout. But I think it's going to go to the scorecards. That's just what I see. That's what I feel. But anyways, I'm just looking forward to a, you know, a very good fight come Saturday. And I'm just going to say may the best man win. So um, that's my final thoughts on it. Where you guys going to be watching the fight at. And who you got winning the fight and why. So until next time, this is your boy Jay. And I'm out.